Let me next provide the initial conditions. I will create um, a couple of new lines, input a comment preceded by the uh, percentage sign, and the initial velocity is 0, and the initial location is 1. Next, let's save the script file. So before that, go into Windows Explorer and create a folder called spring underscore mass, or whatever name you'd like to call it, at an appropriate location. And we will save the script into this folder. And to save the script, um, go into MATLAB and select Save and go to the folder that you want to save it in and uh, give the script an appropriate title and so I will again call that spring underscore mass and the script is all MATLAB scripts are have the extension dot m and then I'll save and you can see that um, now the uh, script is called spring underscore mass dot m. Next let's run the script. You can do that by clicking on run here or by typing F5. So I'll click on run and I see that MATLAB's gone through the script and it's created the variables from the script. So for instance k equal to 1 m equal to 1, and so on. And not only that, we have the variables from our script, but we also have pi that we created from the command line before. And I like to clear the workspace at the top of the script. Um, that's a good idea so that you don't have you know, variables from other scripts and so on. And you can do that by um, using this command called clear all. So that'll clear all variables in your workspace, so your work, you're starting off with a fresh slate. And I also like to uh, clear the command window, and I can do that using CLC. Instead of running the entire script, let's run it line by line to understand what you know certain commands are doing. And for that, I will use the debugger, which is a powerful inbuilt MATLAB functionality. So to let me set a breakpoint at this line. So that means that execution will stop at this line. And so once I set my breakpoint, I can go and uh, click Run. And now the green arrow indicates that execution has stopped at this um the statement. And so um, note the workspace now, okay, before we um, execute that statement. And then to execute just that statement, click step. And now you see that clear all has cleared the entire workspace. Now note the command window here, and k indicates that you are within the debugger. And so let's step to execute that command. And note that it's cleared the command window. Um, and now let's click step again to execute that statement. And note that it's created k and m in the workspace. And then to execute the rest of the script, I just say continue. And that continues through um, the entire script. And you see that it's created all the variables in the script. But now we don't have the pi variable from before, or a and s, as uh, MATLAB called it by default. That's because we have the clear all.